they purchase the DVD, then after they study, they start sending to me video of what they're studying. That's a wonderful to see serious hairdresser. I'd like to show you and share with you. Stay, come back. Watch my leg, body have to forward, come back. Top of the body go forward, nothing, anything else. Go forward. Elbow hand is too much stand up, too close to you. Then also, you're going to move the forward, your body is kind of twisting towards the forward. And that's, that's why I need your foot have to be shown to me, then I, I could explain to you. Your top of the body just move the forward, then bring the hair in. You have to get in a two-curl position. This is the aim, head is coming this way, so I have to be aim it, force it, stay. Aim it forward, stay. Yeah. You send me the worksheet, it's not enough you practice yet. You have to need at least a half page have to be done. Hold it, stay here, move sideways, okay? Hold it, stay here, move sideways. You start at the right position in the center of the body, but when you move toward the pullet, your hand is a little bit moving. Also, your body is a kind of sinking towards that direction. That's why I need your foot position. I can't see any foot position. It's a very difficult to explain to you. If you try to push the hand to move it, that's why they're twisting the body, top of the body there. Now, if you're practicing and you move the side way and you see the the line, then you keep moving smoothly. Now, you begin with it against the wall, put on all hand parallel to the, that line. Then move to the left and the pull sideways. And most important is don't push it. Your hand have to stay the center. If you push it, again, your top of the body move. Then hand it off the uh, line. Right okay. here, same thing. Four, bring it in, cut. Right here, same thing. Four, bring it in, cut. Same thing. Two curl position. You want to bring it back here. So, four, bring it in, cut. Four, bring it in, cut. What do you like to do? Pull straight up. You have to two curl forward. You have both have to be forward. But, don't stiff the leg. If you like the stiff, you can't move that smoothly. Forward. Get in. Then get up. Okay? One more time. See, you have to go. This is the skin here. This is the head. Top of the head you're going to cut. Here. Bring it in. Go up. Okay? When I hold this, stabilize it. Relax. You can straight move like this. And show you the scissors. Like this. Then hold the newspaper. Then keep cutting. Then hold it. You can cut any time. Next time you send me at least like a one minute, you keep doing a hand finger exercise because this is too short. You got too much emphasize yourself to try to straight. Holding shoes, your hand is straight. You have to be hand have to bend it and parallel to your body. You need more hand exercise. Yeah, the floor. Pick them up, drag down. Pretty much cut the evil. So, for the cutting not so good, you cut it like this kind of triangle shape. So that meaning you're cutting a little bit off, right? I'm cutting here majority of the time about maybe 80, 85% of the too much evil. 15-20% I just show you kind of sideways, but still not bad shape. That's what you're supposed to do. No, of course, nobody can get hair uh, straight even all the time because you're moving. So it's okay, but uh, if you start cutting hair but almost like 80% to 90% is not even, that's not good. That's very bad. Okay? So that's why you have to practice. So how much you practice? If you cut a four pound, it's getting better now. Then became an eight pound, 
you really change the percentage in a correct haircut.